When you're taking care of a baby with a chest tube, you wanna make sure that you're watching the water seal chamber for bubbling. And specifically the water seal chamber, because if you have a wet type of uh, chest tube drainage system, like a Pluravec, for example, that is that uses water for suction, then you'll see bubbling in that suction control chamber, but you're really looking at that water seal chamber for the air leak. So what might you see with bubbling? So like continuous bubbling, that indicates there's an air leak. And you might see continuous bubbling right after that chest tube is inserted if you have a large pneumothorax, for example. But to constantly see continuous bubbling is a little concerning. So you wanna identify when you see bubbling, where's the air leak coming from? And I always like to say, start with the patient. So look at the baby. How is the dressing? Is it intact? Is everything secured and connected? Briefly clamp in between the chest tube and the drainage system. If the bubbling stops, that tells you that the bubbling or the air leak came above where you clamped. So that would tell you it's from the baby. Maybe the patient has a pneumothorax, they have the air leak, or the tube could be dislodged. So that's why it's important to look at the dressing. If it doesn't stop bubbling when you briefly clamp, then that air leak is somewhere below the system and you have to change out the system. Now, sometimes you won't see continuous bubbling. In fact, most of the time you won't see continuous bubbling. You might just see intermittent bubbling. And that can tell you that there's an intermittent air leak, an air leak that is slowly resolving. Once you see that there's no bubbling in that water seal chamber, then typically they might put that um, chest tube drainage system to water seal. They might stop suction, continue monitoring the patient for you know, 12 to 24 hours, make sure that pneumo doesn't reaccumulate before actually removing the chest tube. Uh, does that make sense? Let me know what questions you have about bubbling or about chest tubes. And if you wanna learn more, I hope that you'll sign up for my webinar that's coming up on June 28th, all about air leaks and chest tubes. Um, there, you'll get two CE credits for this webinar and the recording will be available too. Let me know what questions you have.